The application layer is probably the most misunderstood. The application layer is not where applications live, and it should more accurately be called the application support layer. Using Windows as an example, when we install new hardware, we usually install hardware drivers in the operating system to support the newly added hardware. These drivers are detailed instructions that instruct Windows how to communicate with the hardware, rather it be a hard drive, a CD-ROM drive, a graphic card, an audio card, etc. Similarly, when programmers seek to write applications, they use software drivers to help them write applications. These are tools and services that help the programmers develop code to communicate with the operating system. In the Windows operating system, there is a directory called Windows, that contains a subdirectory called System32. This directory can have hundreds of files called DLLs and APIs. DLLs are dynamic link libraries, and APIs are application program interface. These are the programmer's support files that help them build applications. These support files will help a programmer to create, remove, and copy files on a hard drive for example. They are the building blocks used to develop applications, but they are not the applications we might recognize, such as Photoshop, Excel, VLC Media Player, Mozilla's Firefox, or Winamp, for example. So again, the application layer of the OSI model, layer 7, is not where applications live, it is the layer that contains application support files, tools, and services particular to the specific operating system being used to host applications, be it Windows, Mac, or Linux for example.